hello everyone we are starting a new series on microservices and this will be series for beginners on microservices microservices is most commonly used pattern used for software development and for dotnet core basically it is used for creating microservices so in this first video we will be going through the basics the difference between monolithic architecture and microservices architecture so what is a monolith monolith is when all our code base is integrated into one single application or services it has all the features all the code base into the single application and since it is all the code is integrated into single application it is usually very complex and difficult to maintain and a huge team of developers needed to maintain the monolith application usually when we talk about monolithic we talking about web servers api services and worker processes since all the code base is integrated in single application adding features to monolithic application increases size complexity and effort for change due to this maintenance of monolithic applications is difficult if you we see here in this blue background we have a monolithic application and different features are shown in orange background so a monolithic application consists of multiple multiple features which are integrated into a single application and as we keep on adding the new features the size of monolithic will keep on increasing and it will become gradually difficult to maintain this coming to microservice so microservices we bifurcate this monolithic application here we see that we have five features integrated into the single application but in mono microservices architecture we have divided all of these features into the single services and these services are very small services which are only consisting of single feature so microservices are small and are in one bounded context so what is bounded context the meaning of bounded context is that if single microservices should be doing a single functionality or it be it should be related to a single domain we will talk more about bounded context in upcoming videos but for now we will understand bounded context that a microservices should be developed related to single functionality and single domain my since microservices are very small it is low in complexity compared to monolithic deployment of each microservice is independent which is a great feature and we don't need any downtime and any other impact to the other services to deploy microservices another advantage of microservices is that it can be scaled independently to others since we can deploy microservices independently in case of heavy loads are there for single microservice we can scale it out for an example if we have an e-commerce application and in e-commerce application we have different microservices like order microservice payment microservices catalog microservice and we see that during peak times like any of the festivals when the sale is going on we see that for the order microservices volume of the traffic is increasing then we can scale that single microservices independent to other microservices but give us great flexibility and benefits microservices are technology independent each of the microservices that we saw here feature 1 feature 2 feature 3 can be developed independently in in different technologies microservices can communicate with each other through the apis and there is no other way to communicate with microservices we will discuss communication between microservices in the upcoming videos but if one microservice needs to call another microservice it needs to call an endpoint provided by microservice that's it in the in this video and we will discuss more about the microservice in upcoming video thanks for watching thank you